What's up YouTube? And I'm back at you in another video. And in this video, I'm going to give my preview and prediction for the Ole Miss Rebels versus the Kentucky Wildcats. The Kentucky Wildcats got going on the road to Ole Miss uh, to play against the Lane Kiffin Rebels. And um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see. Uh, these two teams played each other a couple times. Ole Miss uh, has got the victory the last couple times. So uh, Kentucky, you know, want to get in this matchup and see if they can get a victory. Kentucky's coming off a tough loss to uh, Georgia, a game a lot of people feel like they could have potentially won. Um, it was fourth and eight that, at the last minute in the fourth quarter, and uh, Bob Stoops decided to punt the ball. Uh, some people probably would have went for it and stuff like that, but uh, they still would have had to get those eight yards, and um, Georgia was just playing really, really good defensively. So I can see it both ways, but uh, Kentucky, can they build off of that and um, – potentially give Ole Miss a game. It's going to be very, very interesting. I'm going to just go, go ahead and read off the stats. Um, I'm going to start with Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky, for the most part, you know, offensively, they're not where they want to be. Uh, they got two losses on the season so far. They lost to uh, South Carolina 31-6, I believe. And they, like I said, they lost to Georgia 13-12. So, uh, very, very interesting matchup. You know, can Brock Vandergriff get the offense going? It's going to be interesting. You know, so far he has 550 yards passing. He has a completion percentage of 58.2. Uh, not great, you know, stats. He only has three touchdowns and two interceptions. So uh, definitely got to get something going offensively for, for Kentucky, you know. um, I feel like, you know, they can have a really, really good running game, you know. I uh, got some – good guys on the offensive line to gave Georgia some uh, problems, you know, up front. They was able to run the ball a little bit on Georgia. So, and the guy leading that is Demi Samu, Samu Karing Bay. I might be butchering his name, but their top running back for Kentucky, he has 274 yards. He has three touchdowns on the season. A really, really tough running back. We already know with Kentucky, you're going to get a physical run team, you know, uh, since Mark Stoops has been there, they play really, really good defense, and they like to run the ball. And um, Demi Samu Karnbe is a really, really good running back for them. He's on. He's the top rusher. They do have some other guys like Jamarian Wilcox. He has 133 yards rushing. Uh, Jason Patterson. And uh, even Brock Vandergriff can scramble a little bit. He has 69 oh, – I'm sorry, 53 yards on, on the ground rushing. But uh, – they have some guys, man. Gavin Wimsat, he has 69 yards rushing, and he has a touchdown. Uh, so far, so far, he was only able to uh, get five touchdowns on the season. So, uh, offense is not, you know, jumping off the page at you. You know, uh, I know Kentucky would like to get some offense going, especially against the Ole Miss team that's really, really good offensively. A receiver, they have Dane Key. He has 264 yards receiving. Uh, doesn't have a touchdown, though, but uh, he's definitely their top, you know, uh, receiver, you know, as far as receptions. He has 15. Uh, Baron, Barry and Brown, he has 12 receptions for 90 yards. He has two touchdowns. And they have uh, at tight end, they have Jordan Dingle. He has a touchdown. Like I said, not too much, you know, offense going uh, for Kentucky. They would like to get that established and hopefully they can figure something out, you know, uh, before Saturday, you know, and maybe a uh, prop Vandergriff can get something going. I uh, was very, very, you know, highly recruited at high school. Uh, just hasn't hit his potential yet. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see defensively. Kentucky is really, really good. Um, they gave Georgia fits, held Georgia to 13 points. You got to give credit to that defense. Uh, it was the main reason why Kentucky was in this matchup. Uh, last uh, Saturday. De'Eric Jackson, at linebacker, he has 19 total tackles. Uh, they also have a transfer, Jamon Dumas Johnson from Georgia. Uh, he has interception, you know, on the season. But a uh, very, very athletic guy at the linebacker position for uh, Kentucky. But they have a lot of guys. Deion Walker on the D, uh, defensive tackle uh, on the D-line. Uh, Jordan Lovett. Uh, another guy they have is J.J. Weaver. Really, really good. A linebacker for Kentucky. You know, this very, very stout defense. And um, you expect that with a Mark Stoops, you know, uh, team. 
you know, they're going to play sound defense and uh, be very, very physical. So uh, Kentucky's going to have their hands full, I feel, against Ole Miss, but uh, they definitely have a really, really uh, tough defense. I'm going to switch over to Ole Miss. Ole Miss has Jackson Dart at quarterback. He's been there a couple of years now, uh, transferred in, uh, has 1,554 yards uh, passing already. Like I said, very, very dynamic offense on the Lane Kiffin. His completion percentage is 79.8, really playing at a very, very high level. He has 12 touchdowns and two interceptions. So a uh, very, very elite quarterback, can run the ball as well. I mean, he has 90 yards on the ground rushing. And he has three touchdowns. So Kentucky's going to have to be able to contain Jackson Dart, you know, try to put a lot of pressure on him, try to affect him. Uh, the offense goes through him, but they also have a good rushing attack as well. Henry Parrish Jr., he has 427 yards rushing with seven touchdowns. Um, and he's the guy that stepped up. You know, they lost uh, Quishon Junkins. He went to Ohio State. So he definitely stepped up for them, and um, he's being very, very productive for the Ole Miss Rebels. Um, Matt Jones, he's also a running back for them. He has 201 yards with three touchdowns. And uh, they also have Dominic Thomas. And he has a touchdown on the season season with 90 yards. So a really good rushing offense. Plus, you know, they got some guys in the, at the wide receiver position as well. Trey Harris, 628 total yards receiving with four touchdowns. Antoine Wells Jr., four touchdowns with 274 yards receiving. Uh, these guys are phenomenal for Ole Miss. Uh, they also have Caden Lee, 256 yards receiving with a touchdown. Uh, Jordan Watkins, uh, he's another guy with 139 yards. And Caden uh, Priestcorn at tight end, he has 139 yards. Receiving. And both of those guys, are they have production as well. Uh, Watkins has two touchdowns and Priestcorn has one. So very, very elite offense, man. Uh, Kentucky is going to have to uh, bottle up this offense some type of way, you know, try to slow down the Ole Miss Rebels. Going to be very, very interesting. Defensively, Ole Miss was able to go in the transfer portal and pull out a guy in Walter Nolan. Really, really good uh, defensive tackle uh, for the Ole Miss Rebels. Uh, he transferred in from Texas A&M. Uh, very, very elite defensive tackle. A lot of the schools were trying to get him. But uh, he committed to Ole Miss. Um, definitely a key in their defense this year and made an improvement on the Ole Miss Rebels defense. They also have uh, Trey Amos. He came from Alabama at cornerback. And um, like I said, their front is doing a phenomenal job for Ole Miss. They're doing a direct and heavy, a uh, really, really good defense and um, an approved defense from the previous Ole Miss teams. And um, Pete Golden just has a, a plethora of guys on their defense that's uh, getting the job done, basically. Uh, Brandon Turnage, another guy. Uh, he was actually at Alabama, then went to, uh, I think he went to Tennessee, and now he's at Ole Miss. Uh, he has an interception. Chris Paul Jr., he's their leading tackler with 29. So a lot of guys, you know, flying around on that, on that Ole Miss defense. So greatly approved team over the last couple of seasons defensively. I was looking at the line for the game. Currently, I see Ole Miss is a 17-point, 17-and-a-half-point favorite. Uh, the over and under is 53 points in this matchup. The game is going to be played in uh, Vault Hemingway Stadium. Like I said, uh, Kentucky is going on the road. If I had to give my prediction for this matchup, I'm picking Ole Miss. I just think Ole Miss just has too many weapons right now for Kentucky. Uh, you can tell Kentucky still is trying to figure some things out. You know, I think if they had to rely more heavily on the running game against uh, Georgia, I think, you know, they could have possibly won the matchup, you know. But uh, you got to get credit to Georgia defense, man. Uh, nobody has scored on them. So, uh, considering that, I'm not saying Ole Miss has a, a just as good as a defense as Georgia, but I just don't see the Kentucky Wildcats being able to keep up offensively to be able to keep up in this matchup. I just see Jackson uh, Dart uh, just doing the things that he needs to do. Um, offensively. Uh, one thing that Lane Kiff is really, really good at doing, he's good at 
uh, isolating players and having that one-on-one -on -one matchup. And I just think Ole Miss overall, their players are going to be – he's going to scheme it up really, really well for them to beat Kentucky. Like I said, they beat Kentucky the last couple times they played. You know, it's not helping that Kentucky doesn't have anything offensively going on. You know, could they score on Ole Miss? There's a potential that they could. Like I said, they just can't do it on, against uh, Georgia. I think Georgia has – one of the best defenses in the country. So uh, they wasn't able to do anything, just uh, kick field goals in their matchup. But Kim Vandergriff and uh, Kentucky Wildcats scheme something up, maybe. But I just see, you know, Ole Miss, you know, they got too many uh, playmakers on the outside. I think they're going to stress out the Kentucky defense. And um, I think Ole Miss is going to do just enough you know, defensively to keep Vandergriff in check. Like I said, they're very, very talented. Walter Nolan up front, uh, Brandon Turnage and Trey Amos and uh, J.J., you know, I mean, not J.J. Me, but a lot of guys on that defense, you know, for Ole Miss. They're swarming around. I just got Ole Miss win this matchup. I can definitely see like a 17-point victory, uh, maybe somewhere in the realm of maybe, I want to say, Maybe they hit the 30s, maybe 31 to to 10 or something like that. Maybe I can see that. Could be more than that, but uh, I'm trying to give credit to Kentucky's defense. You know, it kept them in that game against Georgia. But uh, what do you guys think? You know, give leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And once again, if you haven't, please like and share and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.